Hi, this is Stephanie Earp, and this is a little tutorial for switching from knitting right side out to knitting inside out in the round. So I'm not sure if this is something that everybody already knows and I'm just think I'm figuring it out or if it really is something sort of innovative that I've come up with, but either way I thought I would share it um, because even if it is well known, I didn't see a lot on YouTube or anywhere else when I went looking for it. So you'll see a lot of stuff about working your um, working inside out, but I was looking for something where I could work the yoke of my La Peregrina sweater, which is this lovely lace stuff. I wanted to work that right side out, like as it was the chart is written. But now that I've completed the yoke and I've separated from my sleeves, um, I would like to switch to working this side, which is mostly knitting uh, with one purl ridge versus the other way around. So this is what I did when I was making my uh, adult version. I'm now working on the kids version. So once I was finished sort of all my important right side work, I was coming up to the end of my round, which as you can see, there's a lot of purling to do, hence the name La Peregrina, named for a famous purl. So I'll try to be really steady here. I would just, I'm purling across to the end of my round, which happens to end with a knit stitch, which is kind of convenient for what I'm about to do. So I finished my round, you can see that's my end of round marker. I'll knit this stitch. And now I'm gonna turn my work and I'm gonna do a German short row. So to do a German short row, I keep my yarn in front. I slip the stitch back, just worked back to my right hand needle. And I kind of pull the yarn up and over to reveal these two legs of the stitch. Position my yarn for my next stitch, keeping the tension. Get that out of the way. Keeping the tension and I knit. Now, as you can see, I've, I've switched directions. I'm now knitting in the other direction, just as you would with a short row, but I'm not gonna do a short row. I'm gonna knit all the way around my, my round. So hang on while I do that, and then I'll show you how I resolve the stitch. Okay, so I've now knit all the way around back to my marker inside out. And as you can see, I'm gonna come on back to my marker. I'm trying to keep this very steady and not too fast. And you can see a little bit, I mean, I find German short rows can be tough to see, that I have a, a double stitch here on my purl. So to resolve it, I'm just going to insert my needle into both legs of the stitch and purl them together. And then I can continue around. I'll do a few stitches and I'll show you what it looks like on the other side. So as you can see on this side, it is pretty much invisible. To really prove that to you, I'd have to um, knit another round, but I can tell you that it was invisible on my adult La Peregrina, and I also used this on the sleeves um, twice because I basically switched to knit them inside out after sort of knitting them right side in for a little while. I guess I only did it on one. The second one I just knit inside out, but when I came to the lace detail, uh, if you go look at the pattern, I switched again to be working right side out again. So there you go. You can use a short row to switch directions on your knitting, if you use a German short row, if you use a wrap and turn, if you use a Japanese short row, whatever your technique, your preferred technique is, I think all of them would work. Obviously you want to select something that looks good when you resolve it, kind of coming at it from the other side, which I find German short rows are really good for. And then you can go ahead and knit the rest of this pattern, uh, the body of this sweater, working primarily knit stitches. So especially if you're an English knitter, um, that's a, a really nice thing to have. And you can apply this technique to any pattern, uh, yoke pattern, for example, where you'd want to switch directions and do a purl ground or a reverse stockinette ground, but not have to knit all those purl stitches. All right. Thanks for tuning in and check out my patterns on Ravelry. This one's called La Peregrina. Thanks. Bye.